State, federal, and local officials gathered to kick off construction on a project to restore Spring Lake's wreck pond at an event on January 19, 2016. The American Littoral Society, a supporter of the multi-million dollar project, says that it will reduce the risk of flooding, improve water quality, and re-establish the pond as a breeding ground for fish with the installation of a new route to the ocean. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Supervisor Eric Schrading discusses the benefits of the project for the ecosystem. From the standpoint of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, we would like to improve aquatic connectivity for species such as migratory fish that move from the ocean to Rep Pond and back. A number of government and nonprofit groups support the endeavor, according to Spring Lake Mayor Jennifer Naughton, who explains the next steps of the project. This construction, the dredging is on hold for now until the spring because the water's too cold and the dredge won't work in the freezing cold. But this is going to continue. This is the second pipe out to the Atlantic Ocean, so that will continue. It should Construction should be completed by the end of March, at which time there'll be free two pipes that allow water to go between the pond and the Atlantic Ocean. Communications High School will also play a role in the project, with members of the American Littoral Society discussing the ecosystem with students in Janine Gomez's freshman biology classes. Gomez said CHS's involvement may also involve trips to the site. Executive Director of the American Littoral Society Tim Gillingham says he believes the project will have a lasting impact up and down the Jersey Shore. We're not only restoring and protecting the environment, but we're protecting the communities next so this is for us an example, a case study, a textbook example of how to live with the Jersey Shore and not simply on it. So we hope that the lessons that we learn here from this project and this great partnership, uh, we can take that and replicate it all up and down the shoreline. Reporting for the Inkblot, I'm Tommy Fletcher.